Hello, this is June 1st. Maybe you have noticed already that Synology have put out the, a um, notice about the new DSM-7 version, which is going to be actually a um, release candidate, which means very potentially DSM-7 is going to be released um, any moment now. And uh, these are the changes you, you're going to experience, you can see. So let's go through the list and see what is the significant, what you should pay attention on, what is changing and stuff like that. So first of all, you will need at least one gigabyte of memory to have this DSM running smoothly. So any old value series NAS would struggle like DS116, uh, old J series 500 megabyte uh, RAM models. All of these um, probably will not be um, recommended to actually update your DSM 7. So. That's the first thing, one gigabyte of RAM. The other thing is, um, the, here is a list of uh, models which are not gonna have um, automatic, uh, easy way of upgrading DSM-7. So you can upgrade, but you will need to do it manually. You go to their website and download um, the latest DSM-7. And uh, let's move on to a point about DSM. Uh, also about uh, XS series, flash station, um, uh, DVA surveillance stage. This is this is still under development. So, whenever DSM seven comes out, this uh, is not going to be available yet for these uh, models. But uh, very unlikely you would anyway upgrade on enterprise series NAS just now. So, one thing, first thing, what is actually annoying that um, USB support is gone. You can't anymore connect um, Wi-Fi dongles like uh, Bluetooth, three G, four G, USB uh, DSC speakers, DTV dongles. Um, USB printers and things like that, not anymore. That, that's quite annoying. And I don't think so, this is coming back. Uh, also, DSM-7 will end support for EXT3. So if you have uh, any external drives on EXT3, you can't do it anymore. You should be moving to EXT4 at least, or be it um, NTFS, NTFS or something like that. Uh, other thing that SMB, so basically when you're mapping your Synology to your Windows machine, you get this network uh, drive, so you will need to reconnect, remap all these drives again, and you will need to enable NTLM version one uh, as a SMB. That's when they change the name, change the standard. iSCSI now becomes a SAN manager, so they're just naming it differently. Uh, easy Internet, where you could uh, send uh, commands to a uh, router to open certain ports is not going to be merged into router configuration um, also they are disabling um, DDNS providers which means that uh, those providers were coming and checking your IP address updating IP address and giving you a uh, meaningful name so instead of going for IP address it would be you would be um, typing URL with some sort of domain, similar to domain name, and uh, they will be picking the IP address automatically and updating it. So that's, um, these are the services which will be disabled. Um, I can't see any of the popular ones anyway there, so no, 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 no problems there. They're updating Quick Connect. They are um, making the SSL more secure. Uh, they are disabling uh, conversion from FLV to M MPG. So, so that maybe could be affecting some people. Uh, and uh, these are the models uh, that will no longer support this. It's J series, SAC, SE series, Slim series, all um, models. Uh, moving on to packages, uh, they are Synology Moments and Photo Station uh, is now merging into Synology Photos. Um, so you, you can't use anymore. Before you could use either Photo Station or Moments, now it's merging into one thing. So it's going to disappear when you update. Um, Cloud Station Server and Cloud Station Share Sync uh, will be upgraded and merged as well. So if you had uh, instead of Drive the old Cloud Station option up, that that goes up, disappears. It's going to be replaced with a Drive, which is actually a better app anyway. So there's uh, no problem there. Moving on to uh, packages that will be no more supported. Um, this part might uh, make few people upset. <laughs> Uh, so CloudStation, as I said, that goes out of the window. ShareSync Drupal, so that's content uh, management system uh, that disappears. DVB Link for multimedia, GitLab, um, Java, um, 
Logitech media server that could be as well annoying that's as well for media lovers that goes out Magento again content management systems disappear uh, moments obviously replaced then there's mono uh, no do no no J js that goes that's surprising surprisingly <laughs> disappearing as well uh, some HRM uh, orange HRM uh, e-commerce uh, so CRM systems they go away PHP BB that's um uh, forum uh, scripts as well for open source that goes uh, press the shop uh, Python Ruby sugar CRM um, quite a list actually TV mosaics even okay that's end of love actually they're disappearing but all of these apps are just gonna be got ridden <laughs> good and rid of that's annoying okay what about the storage um, it will support updating the firmware for Synology drives so uh, those HD series uh, drives they, they will be able actually from the mm, management system to go into drives and update uh, the firmware you can't do that with other drives on this Synology uh, they'll uh, add first fast repair so when you remove a drive you don't need to tell Synology that you are um, repair, repairing a RAID so if it fails you just uh, pull it out take the new uh, put the new drive in replacement drive in and it's going to automatically rebuild the drive you don't need to click any buttons to do that so it's auto repair um, ejecting uh, storage pools and expansions so uh, we don't need to even switch off anymore a NAS to disconnect your expansion unit if you've got plus series NAS you can just um, eject it in the settings um, you can also do the same with mounting if you want to connect um, expansion unit to your NAS you can just connect it you don't need to shut down your NAS uh, what else we got interesting that's, that's that's about it if you want to see the full list uh, of all the changes what are gonna take place you can just go to Synology website and, and check the release news I hope this was helpful um, if you got any questions as always you can go to NAS compares fill the form on the right hand side uh, send email to info NAS compares and uh, we're gonna get back to you with the video Cheerio.